Hi internet people. So this week over on Kinda TV we had a Kinda Live event. Okay, so for Kinda TV they changed up their schedule a little bit this year. So what they used to do was every Monday there was Kinda TV news, but instead um, they're now doing on the first Wednesday of the month they're doing a live event where Natasha talks about some of the new stuff that's happening on the channel and does something fun and exciting. Well, this week the Kinda Live event was hilarious. Okay. So, um, Natasha, with two people, um, did some improv. So the whole thing was live improv for almost an hour. It was so great. Okay, so, um, they did, like, a scene where they were at a doctor's office and they had to read quotes on the floor. There was a scene where they were inside a whale. Um, there was some props. So they've done that on Whose Line Is It Anyway, so it was inspired by that. Oh my gosh, there was this ball of yarn and at one point it was a hacky sack, so it was like, do you suck, bro? Like literally, it was so funny. Um, there was a cape, um, they did an Aladdin thing, um, what else? Oh my gosh, they were just so funny. Um, there was this character who wound up, like, one of the, the people that was guesting for the improv made up this character while they were doing, like, Waiting for Your Doctor. Um, and it was Melissa and Jim. So this person had like two personalities and um, later she came back and was that character sort of again. It turned out that Melissa, Jim was also Francois slash Melinda or something. Like this random other person. So funny. Oh my gosh. They did this like super long, super goofy like in a police station scene um, where they were like, um, it was called like next line or do it again or something like that um and they would have to like go back and change what they said and the whole thing turned into like two police at a police station but then we saw like one of them proposing to his girlfriend who was Natasha and then the Natasha he doesn't do it but the waiter proposes the waiter is actually like Melinda slash Francois and then the whole thing like circles around into jewel thieves and Ooh, rings like it's the funniest freaking thing oh my gosh so the props one was fun because it was just like random stuff there was a super cute like twig thing that I have no clue um but it was just so funny the whole improv I was laughing so hard at certain points that I literally could not breathe like I was just out like laughing so hard it was so funny if you haven't watched it yet you definitely need to watch it because I cannot put like I can't give it justice just talking about it it was just so funny um, on top of that, um, Natasha did a collab video with Caitlin Alexander, who has the YouTube channel Realistically Saying, and they were also La Fontaine in Carmilla. So the two of them did the Don't Laugh challenge. So um, the one of them puts water in their mouth, and the other one has to try and get them to laugh and spit the water out. So they were wearing emergency ponchos and using really cool, I think, disposable kind of TV cups that had kind of TV logos on the front and then um, one of Natasha's like sticker images on the back. I don't know if they like made the cups with the stickers, like if they just put stickers on cups or not, but they made me smile. Um, so they're both wearing these huge clear ponchos and oh my gosh, Natasha had to make Caitlyn laugh and she decided to wear these shoes that make farting noises when you don't wear socks. So Natasha's trying to make her shoes make farting noises, which is like not working. But Caitlin totally starts laughing and they spit water everywhere. And apparently it also like got inside the poncho. Um, at one point Natasha got Caitlin to laugh by spitting water out. Um, Caitlin managed to get Natasha to laugh just by saying, hey, look at me which was hilarious. They were just so funny. Uh, they were doing the goofiest things. It's not even a super long video, but they were just doing the goofiest things and like just could not keep straight faces and water. I hate spit, but oh my gosh, I don't even care. Like watching them spit out water was the goofiest, funniest thing ever. And I really hope they do more collab videos with Caitlyn. Um, what you might not know is that Caitlyn did a collab video with Natasha on their channel. So on the Re Realistically Saying channel, there was a video and it was um, Google search guessing? I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, but Natasha and Caitlin had to 
um, Caitlin had asked some of their fans for suggestions for incomplete Google result or Google searches. So it was um, like, how do you milk blank, 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 and they have to fill it in. And then if you had one of the searches, like one of the suggestions was something you said, you would get a point. They didn't really keep score, but it was just funny because one of them was really, um, how do you milk? Then there was, why is my, why, was it why is my, they wound up talking about the color of poop, sorry, it's just like this whole thing happened, I think it was why is my, may have just been why is my, why is my blank if it wasn't, whatever, I don't need to get hung up on that, um, but there's that one, um, there were just so many random ones. Um, but one of them, which wound up apparently breaking the internet, was, is it true lesbians? And then that was it. And so, because I believe them that there were no search results, but I wanted to see it for myself. I have my laptop, my super not exciting little laptop. Um, and so I'm totally going to type it into my Google search engine just to see what happens. One was, why are cats, like, they're all just really funny, and the search results were ridiculous. Like, a bunch of them were just nonsensical or like nothing I would have thought of. So it was, is it true lesbians? Yeah, nothing. It just doesn't do anything. That's so weird. Like when you start typing it, if you just type, is it true L-E, you get, is it true left-handed are smarter? And like all these random things. Um, although when you type in, is it true L-E-S, the, the L-E-S, you get, is it true you weigh less in the morning as your first result? That's so weird. Anyway, I just wanted to see what would happen because I believed them. They're like, we broke the internet. But I was just like, why? That's so weird. Anyway, but it was a super funny video too. They were cracking up the whole time. They're so funny together. Um, the random thing is that the backgrounds were all like ski chalets. So for Caitlin's video, it was like a snowy winter wonderland behind them. And like there was a little pine tree. And then in the kind of TV video, it was like a skate rental place. And I don't know why. Was there a reason? Was there some sort of overarching message I was supposed to be getting about winter time? Are we going ice skating? Are they going to a ski chalet? What is happening? I don't know, but it was just like the most, they were really random and they were cool but I was like why are these here <laughs> anyway um I also wanted to say thank you internet because a video I filmed forever ago where I announced that I was giving out Carmilla bundles it was way back in December actually got over a thousand views which boggles my mind I understand it was like a giveaway video so it's probably why but it's still just amazing to me that it has that many views just because so thank you if you watch that video and hopefully sometime this year i'll be able to give away more bundles or something carmilla related um right now i'm trying to save a little bit of money because of Clexicon, um which is happening in march which is very very soon um so yeah i can't do any giveaways right now but in the future in the future they will happen okay um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of me, please subscribe. You can find me on Twitter at Clefnotes, on my blog, clefnotes.wordpress.com. I write for the Nerdy Girl Express, the Nerdy Girl Express.com, or their Snapchat, the Nerdy Girl EXP, and I post recipes on the iZombie Sport Group site, iZombiesportGroup.com. Bye, internet people.